So today we are going with the final practice lab that we have that is Python. Um, it's a programming language, uh, it's very popular and if you know this new CCNA uh, one should learn it. It's working so subject so is working with preemptive primitive data types and it will take about 15 minutes let's see <clears throat> let me resize my window here that people okay what have they installed here <clears throat> media player okay it's still alive it's been a long long time maybe I would say uh, at least eight or ten years since I used that one hmm. all right so let's get started see what it wants me to do uh, there's the workstation okay and let's proceed to the first exercise <coughs> primitive data Learning objectives Boolean. Okay, I'm going to read this. If you don't want to, I'm going to just pause the video here. All right, so there is an interactive and then there is a script. So, inter interactive, whatever we're going to, whatever the code we write we get the output and for script we have to save it and then execute it so that was all about learning outcomes is that so basically you have to do this that print out of types of uh, string integer float and boolean and you can run the program in script and interactive mode this is our device. Task one is write a program in script mode and execute it. Okay. This should be interesting. Start charm. So start menu is not start charm. Let's go to P. There was like thing was if I could click and then you can click on P and you are at P. For example, if you are at A. You just click A and then click on B and you're right there and then Python and 64 bit, right? Oh, ideally. Okay. <coughs> file, new file. Okay. <coughs> file, new file. Okay. This is the script and that's the interactive. So you have to write this one. S is equal to ah, it reminds me .NET when I first uh, used the .NET and or C back in the day the it was this colorful print us okay yep that's the comments C 
save. Navigate to this PC desktop folder. Type the following name, data types. Save. Okay, it's saved. Data types, you see it's it's in desktop, that's right there. Run run module. Run and Press F5, okay. No, F5 is not working. Oh, that's the shell. Here we have to, over here we can run F5, you see. So, all right. The program is again and the output is just running in Python shell window. integer variable with the value in the program use the following code x is equal to 5 oh. go control s on the keyboard you see it got saved um, do you see okay do you see that uh, static this static right here in Windows notepad as well if it's in a text editor if you see that static that means that the file is not saved so control as soon as you press control s that goes away so that's a quick way of telling if a file is saved or not i use it all the time for notepad <coughs> to quickly rather than to make sure all right so now we can press f5 here and you see print is not defined oh i did not i did X is equal to 5, print X. No, that's not good. Run. Oh, probably because. Now save it and then F5. Now it will. Uh, the last print was black and this one is purple. So now if I control S and then hit F5, it will print. You see, it value, printed the value 5. Twelve point fifty three. Declare a float value. Okay. and hit F5 and you see <coughs> so
z is ah declare a boolean variable okay z is equal to x greater than y print z control s f5 so basically what it did it is it checked its x is greater than y and it was not so it gave us the false but if we go back and say is x less than y we run it and you see this time it gave you the true so run model press f5 uh, interactive mode and execute it so now we're going to run the program in this mode shell window so now we can close this out right all right so let's uh, minimize them go here click on a and p shell python shell oh we have to be there this is the shell type the following code to declare a string variable with your value okay s is equal to oops ballan earth press enter okay have the following code print s okay and print answer so you see it printed it right there x is equal to five x is equal to five and it wants to print x print all right so basically whatever the value of x you declare it's gonna print that for example if i go and add x that will be too much uh, like that will be a little bit advanced number five is displayed as the output so whatever the value is that so now if we give the y value is equal to 12.53 just like the other one and next we say print y but what if we say print x star y missing oh print x star y what do we get you see I didn't want to show you that you will be confused but on that all right we already printed the y now z is no z is equal to x greater than y and we know it's gonna be a negative it's not right x is 5 y is 12.53 all right so let's go to the next page <clears throat> so this is summary preview well done you learned something they want to welcome you uh, so you need to know this program uh, basically it helps you if you're a program that saves data on the hard disk that's how you do it you basically save it and then when you need to call it you call it all right so 
let's go with this one this is done we you should be able to program to st store and data let's finish it and be done we're done we are okay now go to here back to lab guides back here and what happened all right we got the check mark here let's go and back so we didn't did all the <coughs> practice labs we are done with that so this should conclude our <coughs> practice lab sessions uh, only if I get my hands on <coughs> on this the exam yep I don't want to go there just now that's the exam my anyways so this was it I uh, hope if this video uh, helped you in any way please like comment share and subscribe thank you and you have a good night